am so not excited for my arch nemesis to be back. I hate... Ah, I hate this stuff so much. Also, good morning. How are you? Um, so, remember how I said, oh, I'm only going to get coffee, not at home, on Tuesdays. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. Forget what I said. It is 33 degrees outside. I noticed some of y'all that's not cold, but it was 113 here in the summer, and I liked that. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm cold. My fingers are so cold. All I can think is, thank God I remember to put my hand lotion in my backpack, because I'm going to have to lotion my entire life. I just, I just, anyways, I found a new place that does pretty good shaken espressos, so we're gonna go grab one of those and enjoy that, but it's iced, so will I? Yes, I still, I'm not gonna get a hot drink, I'm not, I'm not, I know who I am, and it's not that. I am here editing my vlog and y'all, this vlog is so long, but also because it's a Monday, we decided to get veggie burgers. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, but I'm gonna go home. I'm like 65, 70% through, rib is it ribbon night, I think? And I'm really liking it, so. But I'm gonna finish editing this vlog before I actually go, even though the day's over. Like I'm just sitting here, <laughs> clocked out, just hanging out. Almost just fell right on camera. How y'all doing? Uh, oh my god. Okay. There's always going to be someone screaming in the background. Yep, today is Ginger. So, I've just gotten home. As you can see, in my house. And I was listening to Spice Road on the way home, which... Okay, girl. Just get on the counter. Like, what is the problem here? There you go. Merry Christmas. So, you can probably hear... Do not come over here, girl. You can probably hear the sink going in the background now because she insists on it running. And I just, girl, you've got to be joking me, babes. You've got to be joking me. Okay, anyways, what do you need from me, child? Oh, that's only a nice sweater. So glad you did that. No, not on camera. What are you doing? I don't know what you need from me. So. Anyways, I'm listening to that on the way home, so I think that's gonna be my audiobook in the car and whatnot, like to and, to and fro work. And then um, maybe if I'm like cooking breakfast at home or making my coffee at home, I'll also listen to that while I'm doing that, but I'm not really sure. What I do know is, Ginger, stop it. I am going to finish Riven Night tonight. I told y'all when I was at work, I was like 70% through. Obviously nothing has changed. I just got home. Uh, but the plan is to finish that tonight. And then I don't know what the plan is from there. I'm either going to try to read one of my little library books or I may just read the next book in that series, to be honest with you. I'm not ready to go back to fantasy romance for the Goodreads vlog yet, despite the fact that I need to. So we may keep doing some real life books, which is what I call either lit fic or um, romance that is not fantasy, basically, uh, because t it's really weird, actually. I've realized my genres are really just real life and like fantastical life, which is like, you know, awesome. So it's either thrillers, mysteries, romance, or fantasy version of all of that. So. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I... Hello. I'm feeling fairly anxious about tomorrow's 
well not tomorrow, this week's vlog. Um, just because I feel like I talked a lot about like, girl, please, mental health and stuff in there. And I just, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I always get nervous talking about that just because again, it's vulnerable and sometimes people on the internet are mean. Luckily, that really hasn't been the case here, but you never know. You never know, someone could stumble upon that day and decide to ruin yours. So there's always that, but I am going to hop in the shower now. We decided to use our date day cash in of the week to get veggie burgers tonight, mainly because I said that I was really, really craving it. And then my partner was like, actually, that sounds really good. So yeah, I uh, I just put a little grocery order away that I placed and it got to the house six minutes before I did, so perfect timing. And now I'm gonna shower, wash my face. I think I'm gonna use, Ugh. so first of all, I got this new Native body wash. Not sponsored, but don't you wish it was? I do. Ginger does. Then should we get more of her bougie, bougie snacks? She still gets them. Let's be honest here. She just understands that sponsors means more um, for her. It's what she always thinks. <laughs> this is cashmere and rain. If you're wondering what cashmere smells like, I mean, this is not it, but it smells very good. I really, really like it. Thank you. No, not the actual mic girl. <laughs> good Lord. But yeah, this smells really, really good. So I'm going to be using this for a little bit. I have, what's in there right now? Lilac and white tea. And I like it, but I just, I really liked that when I smelled it at Target. And then this is the current... I was gonna say flavor. Can you even see that? I feel like that is so, so hard to read. But it's aloe and green tea for sensitive skin. And I really, really like that. I will say, um, I have worked with Native in the past. That's why I started using it. And at first I did notice, I was like, I feel like this deodorant is not working. But after like a week of using it and not using the other one that I had, it works really well. And now I really like it and it's, Sometimes, I don't know if this is gross or not, but we're sharing it anyways. Sometimes when I wear deodorant, it can like almost chafe, I guess would be the word. And I really don't like obviously hate that. So I will um, not use that. And then I have to keep finding new ones. And this one, I haven't had that problem yet. So that's nice. But these are the two little patches. I'm gonna use one on my entire freaking chin because I'm over it. And then I'm gonna use this little guy on just this little spot that I have that popped up and is annoying me. And I don't want her to be here anymore. And then we're gonna eat and we're gonna hang out and I'm gonna finish uploading my little video and put it up for Patreon and that'll be that. Um, just wanna say, just saw this angel number. What does it mean? That's 444 if you can't see it. Let me make it easier to see. <laughs> but yeah, 444, four, four. what does it mean? Well, let's look it up. This is just really off the rails starting off, huh? <sighs> Love, support, and guidance. Serves a reminder that you're on the right path. Ew, that's kind of creepy because I was like, am I talking too much? I feel like I'm being too like random and open with like stuff that people don't care about. That is the second time I've seen 444 today. But also that is one of my just like pff, thought spirals I go down. So to be fair, it may mean nothing, but also it could mean something. And isn't that kind of fun? I don't know, I feel like things like that just kind of makes like, you know, feel a little, a little magical. I don't know, does that make any sense? Probably not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go shower now. So okay, bye. What are you doing? You've been caught. What do you have to say for yourself, Bean? Oh, the prettiest girl with the green eyes. Yay! 
hello bad camera quality coming at you sun in my face loving that um i have therapy today kind of forgot i forgot that it was on tuesday not monday so i'm about to go there obviously and uh, the whole way i need to be chug a lug in this water let me tell you i freaking forgot to drink water all day but i am getting gas right now because i need that before i get on the highway to head over there but i wanted to update that i finished ribbon night and it was a fun little time it wasn't groundbreaking probably honestly won't remember it much but it was like a fun book i just need some palette cleanser sometimes that was that for me so i think it was fun i think it was fresh i think it was great and i'll probably continue with the series but not right now and then, uh, what did I start reading today? Oh, at work I started reading during lunch, um, Hurricane Wars, which is part of the Goodreads vlog that I'm doing. So, that is also fun, that is also fresh. And I'm enjoying it, actually. I will talk about that more in that vlog, obviously, but I'm enjoying it way more than I thought I would, considering what, like, everyone I know has said about it. But then again, most people that I'm friends with that also read fantasy, we don't like the same books. So that kind of makes sense. Um, I just think I'm easy to please and they are not <laughs> so honestly that probably is it but aside from that I'm still reading Spice Road obviously that's going to be a little audiobook that I do for that vlog that I'm filming for Patreon I decided to turn that into like a FaceTime vlog so I'm just gonna randomly talk about literally whatever I want plus update that about the book with spoilers and stuff so that's gonna be fun I mean, I mean, for that vlog to be an hour, we'll see if that happens, but yeah, that's it. That's kind of all I have to update today. Um, it was a fine day. It was a day and I think I'm going to be super tired when I get home. So that's why I'm like, we're updating now. We're getting this done now so I can just go home, do my skincare, get into bed and continue reading Hurricane Wars because that's really what I want to do. And I haven't read enough of that yet to be able to update the Goodreads vlog anyways. So there's no other vlogs I need to update besides this one. So now y'all have been updated. I'm going to go and I will see you later. This angle is kind of amazing kind of amazing um i'm currently waiting for the school parking lot to like unload so i can leave but i have this is a whole bag ooh, of books that i have to go take back to the library and no i didn't read them all and then i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna film my oh my god it's the freaking oh. bear that's on my <laughs> stop yelling at me to get my oil changed and I don't want to do that yet I don't all oh, the cameras there bless it um <laughs> I have to go home and film my December TBR the, the bear is in the video guys I don't know what to tell you I have to go film that video so that's what I'm gonna go do yeah hello how are you I am trying to see where my partner is in relation to our house so that I can uh, know if I have time to film this. I do, yay! Okay, so um, this is a little update just of what I'm reading because that's what we're doing. Currently reading Hurricane Wars. I'm gonna update my other vlog with like more in-depth thoughts, but at the time on Wednesday, I am on chapter 12, page 132, so I'm ye far in. And I'm really liking this, and that's all I'll say. But I'm having a great time, uh, which is what I predicted. So honestly, very happy about that. Uh, other than that, I feel like I have not talked to y'all at all. Is that even true? No, I did talk on Wednesday. I just feel like I am feeling very chatty, and then I have no time to talk because... For some reason, when the sun goes down, I feel like I have no... It's like, why film? Why would I keep filming? I don't know why I think that way. I just do. It's so freaking annoying. Ugh. 
It is so annoying. Like I hate, I hate daylight savings time so much. I, it's just the worst freaking thing. It's so, it's just, ugh. but okay. I do have my little SD card here. So let me get that out and ready. Um, we're having to go up onto the roof and fix a few tiles. Is it roofing tiles? Oh, whatever. We're going up there. Not me. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> and fixing that because tomorrow it's supposed to rain and we don't want that to be a problem. Obviously. Uh, I also need to film my December TBR. And y'all, I am trying to build a thick skin, but I am a cancer, so I do not have a thick skin. I want that said first and foremost. I don't. I don't. And I am very aware that like the first week of the month, when I film my TBR, I also tend to break out just because it's a stressful time of month, like job-wise, filming-wise, life-wise, hormonally too, I guess. And I, you know, I, I don't want to film with this on my face, but this is where we're at. And now I'm getting a phone call, so I have to go. So I guess I'll go film it and then I'll be back. Oh, the roof is being worked on. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Okay, so I finished filming every, everything I needed to film. How exciting is that? I was like, you know what, Olivia? What we're not gonna do is go put on, okay, well, we're gonna make the camera look bad. But what we're not gonna do is not film because of a feeling that you didn't even come up with, AKA this. But also, I'm not gonna go put on concealer because my skin hates it. I don't know about y'all, but I've realized not wearing makeup, my skin hates makeup. So it is what it is. And then also, when I was re or I was filming my little, oh, by the way, I should address this. The, we have like a few missing tiles and it's supposed to like rain tonight real bad. So we're just fixing that by we. <laughs> Don't mean me, but I am funding it via Chipotle. <laughs> and I'm going to go grab that in a minute. And I'm very excited about it and I had to tell you about it. But I also got really emotional on the TBR video. What the heck, couldn't tell you. By really emotional, I mean it's me. So I didn't cry, I didn't really emote too much, but I did start saying sappy things and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa wrong audience. Move this to the weekly vlog. Like, <laughs> I know what we're about over here. And I really do feel like I have two separate audiences. The ones that like come for the shorter vlogs or if I ever do a wrap up, sorry y'all, it's just, pfft. there is one coming. I have a productive days mashup vlog with the wrap up in it. So that's coming eventually. And then hopefully I'll do like a November plus December wrap up and then just kind of end the reading year there. But uh, any hooters, I feel like I do have the people that watch that and then we have the weekly vlogs, you know? And I feel like this is just our little cozy corner. We're just hanging out here. And um, I feel like I can talk about that stuff and it's not like, girl, what? I mean, I'm not cutting it out of the TBR, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's going to be in there because I'm not putting in the work to make those clips sound naturally um, spliced up because <laughs> they don't. But also, I don't think it was weird or anything, but I do think it's just like, I feel like it's normal to get a, like emotional and talk about things that are random in vlogs, but not as much in TBRs because we're here to talk about books, y'all. Oh, I got to go. I'm being beckoned. I won't be back. I'm going to Chipotle. Okay, bye. Anyways. Oh, what I wanted to say is I just love you guys a much. A much? Okay, I got you. Look at that sunset. It's so pretty. I think that's the moon. I love it. Jacob, what say you?
Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm trying to put my Kindle under there so that it kind of anchors it. I'm in my favorite little matching set. It's the waffle one from Parade that I got when I worked with them. And I have not stopped wearing this one and the red one. And then I think I told you guys I also bought um, on my own <laughs> the blue one too because it's so it's like a I don't know it's like a bluey purple looking one but I just haven't broken that one out yet but uh I wanted to come on here because I just finished kind of setting up the rough edits of my December TBR video that's going up on Sunday I had to get that done I filmed it yesterday and I decided to do like a chill low lighting Christmas tree in the back video and I was hesitant and a little nervous to do it because I thought oh what if it's like ugly because <laughs> I don't know I just feel like there's a certain style of like lighting and whatnot that people prefer but I really liked it like I felt like it was kind of like a cozy vibe and I don't know I hope I hope that you liked it if you watched um, but I did want to come in here and tell you about my two very beautiful books that I'm reading. They're these two, and they are just gorgeous. Like, this lighting is bad for this, but I will show y'all again in, like, some B-roll so you can really see it. But, so this one is the Patreon Buddy Read. I'm having a great time listening to it on audio to and from work. And I actually got further in today. I need to update that. So let's grab my Libby app and open that up and see what chapter that I'm on. Chapter 8. I haven't gotten as far into this as I would have liked to by now. Um, I'm almost about to hit 100 pages just because I've been having like a really rough brain time. We already know this, right? I feel like a broken record, but also... So does my brain sometimes, so it's only keeping it to reality. I just haven't been in the like brain space to listen to an audiobook on the way home, but now I am. And I really, I had a good time with it today. It was very calming and relaxing. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I want to complain about my Dutch Bros experience this morning, speaking of the car, because I went and I got a Golden Eagle with extra shot and extra caramel drizzle. And I thought, surely this will make it taste, I don't know, <laughs> more coffee-y and like caramely. For some reason, caramel sometimes makes a coffee-based drink taste a little bit more like that. But I don't know what it is with Dutch Bros Espresso. It's just not working. So my theory is it might be the case of where I need to get their drinks hot and half sweet permanently. I haven't had a drink from them hot yet, but I have had the half sweet and the half sweet iced annihilator was very good. And I'm thinking maybe that hot would just be like perfect, but I don't really like hot coffee a lot. So it wouldn't be a frequent flying thing, but I did find a coffee shop that's on the way to work that is good. And you know, whatever. But also, I guess then that just promotes that I make it at home, which is what I should do. So I was wondering, I kind of want to get into the gig of like making my own syrups at home, specifically like seasonal ones. Like people have the chestnut praline, peppermint mocha syrups, like stuff that they just make like over on the YouTubes. And I was wondering if I did that, do you want me to include that in here? Because I think it would like be kind of funny because I have zero patience when it comes to uh, being in the kitchen. <laughs> but also I could show recipes if you need some ideas. I don't know. I do a lot of what I've realized. This is kind of my thing that I like to do. I like to make my decaf lattes on my espresso, my Breville espresso machine. And then I like to make my like actual caffeinated coffee that I'm going to take with me or that I'm drinking in the morning with my Nespresso machine. Those are the two because I try to do the caffeine like espresso beans in the espresso machine and I just don't like it as much. Mainly I really don't like having to figure out like the grind size and all that stuff every single time it annoys me. So I kind of like to just stick with one bean 
and I have my favorite decaf one, which is, I think it's Delilah's decaf from, it's the one that I have linked down below, but it's called Delilah's decaf. And I really, really like that one. So I don't really want to change from that. I'm not going to. It's really, it's like perfect. And every time, I like, I just feel like the caffeine isn't any better on the Breville than it is on the Nespresso. If anything, I feel like it's inconsistent on the espresso machine because of human error. <laughs> I'm thinking that's gonna be that. Why was I telling you guys that? Oh yeah, because the Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Okay, anyways. This book. I'm having such a good time, you guys. Like, I am having... This is this book is ridiculous. But this, to me, is fantasy romance. This... Okay. So, The Daughter of No Worlds... That book, the first book in the Chris Broadbent series, the trilogy. No, I haven't finished it yet. Gonna do that for a video. Don't worry about it. But that one, I feel like was the, is genuinely that in Blood Mercy. Blood Mercy, I'm gonna reread because I really have a theory that I will like it again. I just need to re-immerse myself. Actually, lies. I'm just gonna move on to the second book. Anywho, Blood Mercy... And Daughter of No Worlds. Those two are like really, 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 really good fantasy romances for a fantasy reader. But sometimes I do want a fantasy romance that's not so heavy on the fantasy. And this one, we are building the world for the vibes, ladies and gents. We are not building it for the visualization. <laughs> My brain just went and we're down. And now Ginger's yelling, and I don't know why. But I'm really, really enjoying this. This is a great time. I'm going to update that vloggy vlog more. But yeah, this is... This is great. Like, I'm I'm having a really good time. And you know what I also think is I went in with such, such, such low expectations based on what people are saying on Goodreads. Because I, of course, read that. Because I got it in a fairy loot box. And so I read it before I decided to ban myself from reading Goodreads reviews. Because I don't like them anymore. But that and then what people that I also trust with their reviews and their feelings and thoughts on books. What they had said about it made me go in with like super, super like two and a half star kind of. Uh, what's it called? Expectations. And I actually wasn't going to read this. I was debating just not reading it and just keeping the pretty book anyways because of that. But because I'm doing the Goodreads vlog, now I'm like, okay, well, actually, well, actually, let me do that. So, yeah. This vlog has had such, the Goodreads one, has had such an array of opinions of books for me. Like, I have had such an experience with it and I'm very very excited for it to come out halfway through not gonna lie I did think like I'm just gonna scrap this we're we're gonna be done here but I didn't and I'm very glad because I think it's a good time I'm gonna get a slice of pumpkin pie what do you think about that yes and I'm gonna read my little bookie book and that's gonna be it. Actually, I gotta edit my thumbnail for the video too. And then I'm gonna be actually done with work because I emailed everything I had to email today. And like, I'm, I'm done. I wanna read about my little, my little fantasies. So I'm just gonna go read my little fantasies. <laughs> I love fantasy books so much y'all, I just do. She's so cute. That's good stuff, Ginger. The people are gonna love it.
Ready for breakfast? Say uh, yes. Oh, okay. Hi. So I just filmed an entire clip. I'm trying to figure out how I want to hold this and how I want to put my face. But um, I filmed an entire clip and it was like, this isn't exactly flattering, but the clip I filmed was awful. Like it was just, what was I doing? To be honest with you, it was, it was so bad y'all. It was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. So what I was saying um, is that I am not going out today. It's Friday. Hey, I'm not going out. My partner is going to dinner with a friend though. So I'm going to try it and see if I can get Panera delivered. I'm going to order it now. And then we're going to drive to the library. We're going to pick up my holds. I'm going to do a little hole in the parking lot for you. And then that'll be that. But I filmed this and immediately deleted that footage. Immediately deleted that footage. Because it was so bad. It was so bad. And these reflections are just... I what's back there? I don't even look behind me. I really should be more aware of my surroundings. Let's go let's go drive. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's back. Voiceover Live is here once more because real time live can't get it together. So here we are for honestly an obscene amount of time as I get far too intimately close to this camera. And I throw up yet a third peace sign within 30 seconds. But if I'm not throwing one up every 10 seconds, how do you know that I like peace signs? I don't know where I was going with that. Um, here's some shelving. I guess that's what I wanted to show you. Not sure. Did I want to show off my veneers? Because I really put those chompers in your face, didn't I? Um, this is a beautiful shot. I am sure that I was feeding a screaming ginger, probably having some incredibly witty banter with um, her, but alas, hard to banter with someone who can't answer you. So now I'm still talking, which is not shocking to anyone, but you know, rhyming, it's there. Oh, okay, alligator clap. Don't know what it signified, but... It was surely not the end. Oh, two more peace signs. Love that for me. So now what are we up to? Five? That is my favorite number, but I'd be far more impressed if we could get to nine. Oh, sure. Panera. Actually, that makes me really want Panera. I always get their pick two Caesar salad with the mac and cheese. Probably exactly what I was telling you because I'm very proud of myself, I guess, for that order. Uh, it's called balance, guys. Oh, my library haul. Yeah, I was talking about how Foxglove keeps coming back. I didn't mean to get the book back this early, but it's already here. So here we are having Foxglove back in the household probably forever. Oh, and Greg's back. Okay, slap that a little too hard there, babe. But into the fire. I think I was talking about how I don't know what number in the series this book is. And, you know, shocking. I'm going to tell you right now, I still don't know. So we're going to say four or five. It's exactly, it sounds right. Thank you on screen. Me. Here's another, oh, another red one. Yeah, this is a nonfiction. I don't like nonfiction, so not entirely sure why I picked this up. However, the only nonfiction I have read recently was political nonfiction recommended by a booktuber I watch. This one was also within that, so I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do it too. That's fine. The cool kids are doing it, so that means I'm going to do it. Stop rubbing your eye, Olivia. There's no reason to do that. Okay, and now we're waiting, and now we're waiting. Oh, yep, out there screaming. So I actually read the first short story in this, y'all. That was freaky. Um, That scared me. I didn't like it. I mean, I did like it because it was scary, but I also didn't like it because it was scary. And then I was driving on the highway home from work, and I saw a policeman, and I was like, can he see eyes on the headlights of my car? And if so, what does that mean? I'm not going to lie. I think I didn't understand what the short story was really saying, but it was very creepy nonetheless. So I'll probably continue on with that because who doesn't love to get a little scared? Um, surely we can say less than this. Oh, all red books. Yeah, that's what I remember when I got into my car. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that theme. It's all red. Now I really don't know what else I could have possibly been saying to you. Because I'm reflecting as editing this, 
on my week and really um, a whole lot of nothing happened. The only thing I'm really seeing is the fact that there's something to the right of me that I didn't quite get out of frame. I think it is my water filter, shout out, but also the sleeve on my left arm. Why is it doing that? Um, and why did I not notice? And why can I only notice that now? Like nothing else is happening. Oh, whoa, those forehead wrinkles really showed up to the party. I need to put some lotion on my forehead. Dang, I did run out of my lotion, y'all. And it's really unfortunate because uh, my skin requires a lot of it in the winter. Like I'm telling you right now, as I'm talking to y'all, my lips are chapped and I guess my forehead is too. So I'm going to go apply that as soon as I'm done exporting this video because this is the last thing I have to do for it. And I, I, I don't want my forehead to look like that. So I'm going to remedy that. But also, it's what I got to work with. So we're just going to lather that up. Um, and I have to go to the doctor tomorrow. So I guess I'll make a pit stop at Ulta to get my lotion. But I think this is almost the end. I'm clapping, which typically signifies the end. And now I'm getting close. Okay. I genuinely cannot believe I've done that again. I can't believe I've done this. I cannot believe I did not turn on my freaking mic that entire five-minute clip. I can't believe it. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do another voiceover like that again, like I did last week, because it's funnier. It makes me less angry, although I'm angry now. But in the moment, I'll be laughing at this version of me because I'm like, girl, it's not that serious. But it is serious to me because I, I was like, oh, yes, that was a good little clip. I edited the vlog today and it's 31 minutes right now. So I was like, ooh, we could do another 30 minutes this weekend. So I thought I had just knocked out another six. So I only had to do 24, 12 and 12, but that was a lie, a lie, a lie. So now I have to, um, well, I guess I don't have to. I guess technically I'm actually getting extra footage because I'm gonna do a voiceover mocking myself. Look at the positives, look at the positives. Guys, so I showed y'all that I saw 444, and then I saw 444 when I got home again, and now I'm saying 555. Five and nine are my favorite numbers, by the by. Nine is my like real favorite, if I'm being technical about it. Five is a vibe. I just like five as a vibe. Five feels like Thursday and fall to me. I can't explain that, it just does. And burnt orange, don't know. But uh, nine, I like it because it's nine. And then it divides into three, three times. In some reason in my head, I like odd numbers because they divide and then there's like a little extra just in case. I'm sure that like psychologically says something about me, but I don't care because I think it's right. I think I'm right. And okay, I'm going to go now. This was interesting. <laughs> okay. But imagine like I click off of this and then I realize I never started filming. Imagine I realized there's actually never a camera and there hasn't been a camera here for 84 years. <gasps> Hello guys, happy Saturday. It is a little bit before three. I, hello, <laughs> I just woke up from a nap and I'm not gonna lie, my head's still, but I think it's the weather because it's warming up again. Yay, who doesn't need that? Um, anyways, I, have some books I wanted to show you guys like what I'm talking about about these books so no, I have not read any more of Spice Road yet but I just wanted to show you how pretty the heck is that um these books are because they are like look are you joking they're so beautiful so that's the one I'm listening to here. And I don't really listen to uh, audiobooks unless I'm driving, honestly. I do sometimes listen to them when I am doing like a the cross stitch stuff, but I don't usually listen to fantasy ones when I do that because I don't like I don't like fantasy audiobooks and doing something else as much as I like reading or listening to like litfic or thrillers or mysteries. 
and doing something else. Like the the man who died twice, I'll probably listen to that one more than I'll physically read it. But I also still want to physically read it some, so mm, I don't know. But anyways, this is the one that I'm currently going to read today. Look at that. It's so pretty. I had to show y'all in better lighting. Like, I just had to. It's so stunning. Speaking of Spagliato, did y'all see the House of the Dragon trailer? Just asking. I don't, I'm not really interested. <laughs> Here is Under the Dust Jacket. That part. And then the back. It's so pretty. And then those are the sprayed edges on this one. And I think they are beautiful as well. I just love them. Just love them a lot. Oh, and then also the inside. Like, look at that. Are you joking? And then we have our little emo prints. Hello, sir. Um, This book is great. Have I already said that? Probably. I am going to challenge myself to not be on my phone for more than enough time to change a song on my Spotify while I read this book today because I'm on my phone way too much. Like, trust me when I tell y'all that not the first week that I'm off for Christmas break because we get off on like the middle of the week because Christmas is on what? New Year's is on a Sunday, I think, this year? Or is Christmas on a Sunday? I don't know. Either way, we get off, like, the middle of the week before, which is annoying. I'm like, give us the whole week. Don't be shy. What are we doing here? That's kind of annoying. Um, so I can't film that whole week. Really, the swapping screen time for reading time like I intended to. I'll have to film that the week after which is also fine like it really isn't that big of a deal and honestly that might be kind of good for the week between Christmas and New Year's to have like the New Year start on a note of like attempting to replace a habit with another habit we'll see how that goes but I really also just love filming those kind of vlogs and I know that y'all like those vlogs so I think that would just be fun. And during that week, I can either read what I've placed on my TBR or I can read, oh, what's it called? The books for the new releases vlog. Because I've noticed, I think the vlogs that I like to do the most, and then I think that the ones that, my personal thing is like, if you, like, this is as a creator, if you're a creator that watches these, this is just like my personal opinion you didn't ask for. But I think the important thing is to do videos that you like doing because you find an audience that also enjoys that and then mainly I think the important thing that comes across is like your energy within the video and for me at least when I'm editing videos that I'm doing because I know that they're popular at the moment the vibes aren't as good as when like I'm just super excited and granted does that mean like maybe numbers are going to be different because of it not you know, being super popular or because of it not being like a trend and trendy at the time. Yeah. But like, having fun, you know? I just prefer it. <laughs> so I think on mine, I really like the weekly vlogs because they're just fun. Like, I just like them a lot. It's like catching up. I feel like I'm FaceTiming. Uh, honestly, it feels like I'm FaceTiming a friend that never picks up. And then I'm leaving a FaceTime message. And then by the end of the week, y'all pick up and then you reply in the comments. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And I really like it. I think it's fun. And then the new releases vlogs. I like that because I'm always excited about the new releases and they're structured. And I just feel like there are always books I want to talk about. Like books I really want to discuss are always thrillers, mysteries, things like that. It's never really fantasy. Like I like discussing fantasy, but... I feel like everyone has that thing that's just kind of like a thing for them where it's sure like I'll sometimes dabble and see what people are talking about or their opinions on things but really it's like a me thing like I just like to be with me in my mind palace chasing the brain goblins out like that's just really what I'm trying to do and then uh, any kind of like challengey vlog 
type videos. I was already thinking ahead for, <laughs> this is wild, I don't know why I'm doing this, but in the summer when I'm obviously off of work for a longer period of time, I was thinking in the month that I have like the entire month off of like each week doing a different reading routine and filming that. And if I want to do that in individual vlogs, like I woke up at 5 a.m. every morning to try to read more or I stayed up until the latest would be midnight to read more or just things like that and try out different reading routines and methods or whatever. Not really methods because I don't care about reading faster. I don't really care about reading more. I care about enjoying the reading, but also reading is a near meditative thing for me uh, when it's done well and it works properly how it's supposed to be for me. And that typically includes some kind of routine with it. Right now, what is my reading routine you ask? Oh, thank you for asking, I'll let you know. Uh, I just shove reading in wherever I can. Literally any second, any moment of the day, I will read a little bit, which is great that I predominantly help in ELA, ELAR classes because then that means that there's lots of reading time because they are doing lots of reading and we need to model good behaviors for the, for the youth. So who am I to not do that? Of course I'll do that. No problem. Thank you for asking. Would you like me to do it again? <laughs> Cause I have another book. Yes. In my backpack, just waiting at any time. That's another question I have. Do you guys just bring a bunch of books with you everywhere? Because I obviously use a backpack. So listen, I have a cute purse that probably would fit everything. But I just feel like a backpack is like, I'm ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> that sounds weird. It also has like a little pocket so I can put my afternoon nuts in there. So it's really important to me. I have like a physical book. It's always a library book. Then I have my Kindle. Have I ever read on my Kindle at work? No. I have my iPad, which I utilize for work and for reading. So, okay, there's that. And then I always have an audiobook, and the app is always open on my phone, but I don't even bring headphones to work. So I don't know why I do that either. <laughs> but when I tell you I have options, if anything comes up, I'm prepared for it. I'm ready to go. But I need to actually go and shut up now because I do think this vlog might just be a little bit shorter today because it's just life, baby. Um, but also I really have to finish this book today because I have got to read two more books and they are, oh, good for me. I left my phone in the bedroom. I was going to say, oh no, but like, no. Oh yes. Because I need to stay away from that little shit. Uh, one of them is almost 500 pages. I think they're both nearing 500 pages. And that's not undoable for me, but I also am starting to get an itching to read some not fantasy books, which brings me to this one that I like, I guess subconsciously brought in here with me. First of all, you know I'm gonna talk about the feeling of library books. You know I am, you know I am. Just the sound of it, just the sound of it. And you know, maybe maybe it is crazy. Maybe other people don't have that, um, but not maybe, definitely, I don't care. I love it. And I love when it has like, the new book sticker on it because it feels like yeah I'm in the know <laughs> that this just came out I don't really I'm not in the know oh also two more holds just came in I got a text while I was sleeping it's all all sinners bleed all the sinners bleed I think it's S.A. Cosby Cosby <laughs> and then who's the other one oh freaking a most agreeable murders back y'all I swear these books just it's like they're cousins coming over to, hey <laughs> what's going on and they just hang out in my house and I have best intentions to read them and then I take them back to their house and they go visit someone else and then they come back in two weeks and I'm like oh my gosh guys you're back I don't have any plans what do you want to do anyways I read the forward I believe that's what it is called I can't take credit for that my partner was talking about a forward earlier and that's why I remember the term but I read the foreword and I just read the contents page of this with all the different titles and I'm like, you know what? I might like this. I don't usually like anthologies. We've already talked about that. It, there's no reason. It's just personal. Like I just, I like a long story. Like honestly, if it's not at least 500 pages, why did I pick it up? And yeah, that counts for romance too. Sorry. 
it does. But this first one by N.K. Jemisin, Reckless Eyeballing. What? I have tried to read an N.K. Jemisin. What did I try to read? Oh, the fifth season. And that writing, I need to try it again. Maybe my brain has ascended to that. But it was, I was just reading it and I was like, oh my god. This is like, you know when writing is so good it's almost distracting. <laughs> It was that, um, but I also have The City We Became. I really want to read that. I really, really, really want to try that. Have I seen people say it's not great? Yes. But you know what they also said wasn't great? This. And I'm having a great time, so I think I just might be... I might be the devil's advocate. <laughs> My mom's worst nightmare. She hates that phrase. Um, then Rebecca Roanhorse. Eye and tooth. You know what I really am hoping is when I read these, I'm going to not tab because this is not my book. This is everyone's book. But I'm going to write down the names of the authors that I really enjoy. It's almost like a taste test. Like, you know when you go to like, I've never done this in my life, so I don't know why I'm acting as I've, I have. But I know that like cool people, when they like leave their house and stuff, they um, can go to these places called bars. I literally can't because... Mm -mm. I don't like loud, I don't like low lighting, and I don't like um, CZ things, is how I refer to it, because that doesn't work well with me, for obvious reasons. Um, but, allegedly, there are these places called bars, taverns, I've heard, um, and you can get like something called a flight, and it's tasty. I did see, I did find, I did peep. This place, there's a coffee place that does the same thing, so might be venturing out for that. There are very few things that are worth leaving the house for, but that might be one of them. And you can like try a little bit of the drinks or whatever that are the specialties that month. That is what this kind of feels like. Did I just reframe my own feelings towards anthologies and now I like them? Perhaps. You know what? I think that I don't like them because I had to read them so much in school and it's just like nonfiction. I don't like nonfiction. I don't like classics. And I don't like anthologies because we I studied them for so long in school. But now I'm kind of getting back into it. I don't know how to say this man's name, so do not make fun of me. What? Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go confirm with the other English degree holder in this room, and not in this room. We're alone here. Actually, Jake does have his PhD, but he's humble, so <sighs> don't ask him about it. He'll go on about it. <sighs> For hours but yeah he went to Harvard um and he'll he'll make it known I'm gonna go ask how to pronounce his name I'll be right back <laughs> okay Jake and I are back with the information and a need for water Dostoyevsky <laughs> yes I want to read um I I want sad classic literature I guess is what I'm saying but I do want to read is it crime and punishment is that the one I'm thinking of Perhaps. I took an entire class on him, actually, if you'd believe it. But we only read excerpts and shorter things. We never read, like, a full-length novel. Granted, the semesters were short, so that's probably why. Like, when I took it, it was a short semester, so makes sense. But anyways, that's the classics. I really don't know, y'all. I just think 2024 is going to be the year of, like, I see it. I want to try it. Let's try it. Why not? Who's gonna stop me? Not me. Now though, who's gonna stop me? Me. Because I need to go and uh, actually read this little book, which is not so little. But let me see where I'm at in it. I'm 211 pages in. So I'm nearing 60%. Um, actually, no, I'm further than 211 pages in. It's hard to tell between the Kindle and this copy, but I'm... 53 54 percent of the way in so i could feasibly do it but i really gotta shut up so i'm gonna go shut up dang it actually that's a lie because i have to go finish editing my video for tomorrow my december tbr jar moment i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go okay okay Hello, good morning, Guten Morgen, how are you? Let me, 
update my place in my book. But, oh lord. How are y'all doing? I have just gotten ready to do my little Patreon live stream today. Has anyone else read their copy from Fairyland of the Hurricane Wars? Because why is the ship on there like that? I don't, is it supposed to do that? I have a feeling it's not. Are we going to claim it's an artistic choice? No, it's definitely not. <laughs> Look, you can see it. What the heck is that? What? That's weird. Anyways, I guess it's lucky though, because when you look at this, you really can't see it at all. Like, you have no idea where that is. So that's interesting. Um, you know, the more I read my fairy loot versions, the more I'm like, these are pretty. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're pretty. Um, but my Illumicrate versions, they may not be the prettiest, but they are stock sturdy. Okay? They are sturdy. But this is where I'm at in Hurricane Wars now. And I'm going to save all my thoughts. Some things have changed, to be honest with you. I'm going to save all my thoughts until, uh, what is it called? I update the actual reading vlog for that. And then I think I'm going to read this guy while walking on my little walking pad because I need to get some exercise because my brain is a little too active with a little too nothing to do with it, with all that activity, you know what I mean? So, even if you don't. Basically, I feel like a worker dog that doesn't have a job. So, I gotta do something about that. So, we're gonna... We're gonna walk. Walk and read. Which is great because, hey, the... So, if anyone is still here that has asked me previously. Um, because I did get this question and then I get a lot of questions that I forget to answer. The main one being, when I reply to your comments with emojis, if I reply with a cat or a dog, or a tortoise, because sometimes I am hanging out with Annabeth. That is to indicate who is near me while I'm replying to your comment. Like, that's all it is. That's like, I know that maybe that's lame. I thought it was cute though, because it's like, we're both replying. Yeah, actually when I say that out loud, that's really lame. But you know what I'm not going to do? Change. So, yeah, if I reply with all three, that means like, we're probably outside. That's only going to happen in the spring when Ginger demands... She's allowed out to realize she hates the outside world again to where Jake is running around like a fool with his allergies. I, too, am sitting like a fool with my allergies. And then Annabeth is just eating all the grass she can um, get her little, her little jaws on. That's the comments one. The walking pad one, I got this boy. <laughs> boy? Okay, what should we name him? Uh, got him from Amazon. I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. Uh, my standing desk, which I also loved, is in the other office now, which is fine. Because granted, they use it a lot more than me, so that's that's fine. I would love, I think the standing walking combo, undefeated. When I was editing some videos and I did that, when I was like filming the video for that standing desk, it was honestly great. And it made me want to get one for myself because I'd already promised that one to my partner, so... That's where that one is, but it's still in the household. And I am thinking about getting one for myself, but probably not until like somewhere in the future we move or something. Because I like this wooden one. I like the aesthetic of it. And I can just have the walking pad next to it. And also then that me being on the walking pad forces me to like don't do anything but read, which is what I need to do. And I feel for some reason, could be wrong. I just feel like short stories might be the perfect thing to read while on the walking pad. So that's the plan there. What else do I have for you? I have to finish editing this weekly vlog. I think I'm only going to make myself do the rough cut edits of it. I got to put up my December TBR video. I want to start planning out my 2024 prep reset thing. I really want to do that. I need to film a couple sponsorship things as well. Two of them. Jacob in front of my salad but I wanted to show you before we before we go get the coffee before we start the stream before we start work I wanted to show you my Illumicrate book because hey 
I read this one already. That happens so rarely that I read new releases soon enough or fast enough that I read them before I even get the copy of them for my book box, but I did. And this edition of this book, a lot of people don't like it. Like they say it feels cheap or whatever. I don't agree. Like I think it's a really cool edition and I don't really understand my own brain's thought process here, but for some reason seeing it made me want to... I want a gothic shelf is what I've decided. I want a gothic shelf, which means I need to clear out some of these thrillers that I either am not going to read or I haven't read, which means I need to do an unhaul. And I don't really like filming unhauls, I'm gonna be honest, because a lot of it is genuinely just the same reason. Either I read it and I didn't like it, or I didn't read it and I don't want to. That's the main thing. But I need to find some little libraries and then just go like, fill them up. I usually, what I'm gonna do now is take a bunch of all of the middle grade and YA ones and bring that to the school that I work at. And then for, um, like, for the classroom. And then I will probably, I have some friends that I think would like some of the books. So I'll, like, send a picture and see if they want the ones that are adult ones. But if not, if they're special editions, I guess I'll sell them on Pango. Because that kind of makes sense. Because I know that there are people out there looking for them. Um, but then I think for the rest, maybe we'll just take them to, like, half price or something like that. And that'll be that. Or if I can find little libraries. But I just have so many of them that I'm like, I just want to one fell swoop. You know what I mean? Like this closet that's right out here. Because these two offices are meant to be like uh, bedrooms for kids, I'm thinking. And hey, my kid does sleep in here. Also, I ordered Jake a new bed. But we'll talk about that when it gets here. Because I'm really hoping it helps with his old man bones. But we'll see. He's kind of picky. Ginger's picky about food. He's picky about bedding. They really are my kids. Anyways, there's this linen closet right here across from the bathroom, and I want to be able to, like, put other things in there. Not books, but all of it is books that I need to go away. It was my Pango, my Pango books closet for a while, but I am not really that dedicated in getting them all sold on Pango anymore. I, like, took down all the listings and stuff, and I think I'm just going to put up the ones that are either, like, new releases that I've already read, bought, whatever, or new special editions or something. But anyways, this month's book, spoiler if you don't want to know, look away, is The Starling House. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see how beautiful? I surely gave this book five stars. I absolutely adored it. I thought it was like the perfect, fun, gothic book thing I just really, really liked this a lot. It felt like a solid gothic novel. Like, thematically, it was there. It had the house. It had a little bit of the romance. It had the outsider coming to the inside kind of thing. It was just, it was... I love gothic literature, y'all. I just really do. And every time I talk about one that I really like like this, it makes me want to freaking go back to school. And you know what? I don't even want to pay these student loans I have right now. I don't want to do that. Unless. But this is underneath the plastic cover is like the old creepy house. Which this is actually pretty close to how I pictured it. So that's pretty cool. But the dust jacket is this clear material. And I think that that's really cool. What is the other book that I have of a living creator that did that? A Marvelous Light and a Restless Truth. I haven't read A Restless Truth yet. I am going to. I'm looking forward to it. But A Marvelous Light was really good. I really liked that one. And it just has the same kind of like cover setup thing. And I just think this looks really cool. I do. So I want to get a bookshelf where I can put that. I can put Dracula. I can put all of my little Grady Hendrix books. I can put some thrillers. Some thrillers have done that. I think gothic. Gothic wise. But yeah, that's it. So now I need to go... What time is it? It's 9.30. I need to set up everything for the stream. I think I'll set up the walking pad so that I don't have the excuse of like, mm, I, don't, I don't want to. And then I think, you know what I need to do is I need to figure out where I'm going to put all these books. All these books that I have going right now. That's what I need to do. But I'm not going to do it because that's just going to distract me from walking on my walking pad. That's the main thing. 
I do kind of need to set up some planner stuff, but I may save that till next week and do like a big old setup. But yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to go do that now. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, I guess. Okay. Okay. Hello guys. I have the worst update ever. <laughs> so I finished Hurricane Wars and I am now starting on to the Fox Glove King. And I'm probably gonna like stop talking about my feelings about these books too much because I'm debating on if I want to not vlog, like weekly vlog this coming week and then instead do, what's it called? Like, just focus on the Goodreads vlog and put that Goodreads vlog up for next Wednesday instead. But I also kind of feel like I don't want to do that. So, maybe I won't do that. I really don't know what the plan is. But the plan right now, let me tell you, because it was a Kindle Daily Deal yesterday, I bought the Kindle edition. So, this is the Fairy Loot edition, and this is beautiful. Did you know? Did you know it's beautiful? Because it is. I love when they do this. I love when they put like a fake book cover on the other side of it. I just think it looks nice. Uh, but I'm going to probably use this and walk on the walking pad. And I have my morning slash afternoon liquid IV to drink. It is about 1.30ish. So that's where we're at time wise I think I might try to knock out a like little sponsor thingy really quick and then get to walking and all that stuff but the bad news is I found a really cool ambiance room on YouTube because that's what I always listen to when I'm reading sometimes I'll listen to Spotify music but not frequently that's really only if I'm reading like a romance but this is the Stormlight Archive High Storm Epic Fantasy Music for reading and studying. And y'all, it's perfect. I love it so much. And now it's making me want to go back to Oathbringer. Which I don't need to be doing right now. Like, I need to be getting it together. And then also, one of the patrons that I'm pledged to is doing a readathon of Brandon Sanderson next year. And they're starting with Mistborn, which I have not read that trilogy. And so I'm thinking of doing that. And then I think maybe when they're doing the Stormlight Archive books that I've already read, I might read the other Mistborn books I haven't read yet. And maybe I'll try to catch up on Brandon Sanderson next year. I don't really know. I don't really know. My real true goal for reading next year is just to read the books that I already own, stop buying so many books. If I want new releases, go to the library and then just enjoy my reading. Like I don't really have any goals other than that. And I feel like mainly those goals, the ones regarding reading what I own and not buying as many books, those are more like shopping habit goals. So more personal goals than truly reading goals, but whatever, whatever, am I right? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go knock out that sponsor thing that I was talking about and then that way my brain, I don't know, if I have something on my to-do list that I know is due, like within the next two, three days. Like it's not technically due for three days, but this is how I was with assignments too. Like I just feel like I need to, I have time, why not do it now? Although technically I am like doing something else that's due relatively soon now, but in my head, I'm procrastinating one productive thing with another, pro I don't know why. I'm just this way. I just am. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's 
hold tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but